a treacherous hike up Mount Snowden. Now it seems like there's always some bad news coming in from Mount Snowden. It's like every week there's a new death that happens. Why does this happen? What's there? Well, as an avid hiker, I had to go see myself. Good morning. This is what I slept in last night. It's beautiful here. I mean, just look at my front door. We are hiking up that very rainy mountain today because why not? I mean, it's only the tallest mountain in Wales. So obviously, we should go up there, see what it is, and also learn a bunch about wells along the way. So, we're in for a rainy, windy, wet day. So buckle up and let's learn about one of the oldest parts of the UK. And after a nice little walk from the bus stop, I reach the trailhead. Snacks. As we walk up the mountain, we can see a judgmental sheep. Fine sheep, we'll judge you back. He clearly is not impressed with our level of fitness. Daffodil! It is the national flower of Wells, which is pretty good since it's the only flower that I've seen here. So there's a lot of people on this trail, but what they've all missed is this puerta that's abierto. Look, I have stairways. Look at this, you guys. It's an old house. So you can see how the walls used to be built up here. And over here you see the chimney. And then around you can see like walls of where the village used to be. Another house in this rock pile over here. And this is what would be outside this little town. So why is this so important? Well, wells, well, wells has been inhabited since like 8,000 BC, if not before. You see, whoa, I'm gonna fall over. There was a land bridge between Wells and Ireland, and this was like 10,000 BC. And it existed there for a long, long time until the ice from the ice age started to melt, sea levels rose and then created the sea. So a lot of the stuff that we see around here is the oldest part of the UK and we're gonna go climb up more and learn a whole lot more because whenever the Romans invaded the UK that's when a lot of the innovation and architecture and structures that we see got inspired so let's go up the super awesome trail and learn more so as I continue to hike up the trail the weather continued to get a little bit more gross and rainy and windy and I was unable to keep my other camera out, so I brought my GoPro out. And let's just say the GoPro doesn't have the best audio on it. Now, there were loads of people on this trail, but one thing I noticed is that people were passing me going up and then coming right back down. No, I'm not the fastest hiker, but I found that kind of weird. I was like, wait, am I almost at the top of Mount Snowden? It can't be. Mount Snowden is like 4,000 feet high over 1,000 meters. So I knew something was ahead of me that was a little bit peril and treacherous and dangerous. You can start to see here the clouds are starting to come in. Both of these hikers that are coming down actually passed me. And at this time, the wind was really crazy. But one thing I'll note is that it was beautiful. And look at all these little sheeps on the hillside, just eating away, having their snacks, and all of these people below. Now the maintenance of this trail also was really awesome. Just look at how wide and how well kept this is. Thanks, Wells. I am in a cloud. Check this out. It's not Mount Snowden. It's Cloud City!
Where is Lando? Where is Lando? And then I finally reached snow. And by this time, I was pretty soaked with rain and with everything else, and I was pretty cold. So I was hoping that this was going to be the only snow that I saw going up the mountain. It wasn't. The wind got so bad up the mountain. You can see here the person in front of me almost getting blown off the side. And now this side was no joke. Like when I saw all those people died, it makes total sense now how they fell off. I had to rest a little bit and just like lay on the snow because it was so windy. I mean, there was even times on this ice field, the snow was blowing me across the ice and I wasn't doing anything. So now I fully understand why this is such a dangerous mountain to hike, especially in the winter. But it's so surreal how strong and how powerful and how beautiful Mother Nature is. I mean, just look at this. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. I've been walking up like an Assassin's Creed villain, like this. It's effective both for navigating the wind and also for getting a ridiculously sore left glute. So when I go pose for the Swimsuit Illustrated Edition, we're just gonna have to tilt the other way. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, let's go see where this goes now. Mordor! Mordor! And as I reached the top of Snowden, I felt so accomplished. I had to do so much just to keep my mind in the moment and not to be too scared. And these stairs were like the last push and I knew I had it in me. Except the wind was super bad here. So instead of walking up them, I ended up crawling up them because I was getting sick of being blown off the mountain. I mean, just look at this guy's jeans. They are definitely flopping in the wind. And yay! Look you guys, look you guys, I made it. And I'm not editing any of this out because this footage is so special to me. This is the visibility that was basically there for about 90% of the hike. Now there's multiple ways up Mount Snowden and a bunch of these people here took a different route because it was way easier. And as a newbie to climbing Mount Snowden, I didn't really know that, so I took the hardest way up. And it was awesome, because there was only a couple of us from my route that made it that day, so go us! Check this out. The clouds are lifting, and there's this little tiny sun. Still very cloudy and windy up there, but that's pretty. Um, anyway, the sun has started to come out. It's not as cold as I thought. Like, I'm just cold because it was super cold. It's, uh, it's a nice gentle breeze. So we've just reached the halfway house. And up here, you can kind of see this little wall. My hands are blue because I dyed my hair yesterday, not because of the cold. Um, the wall is, there's a train that runs up here in the summer. So, if you just want to summit Snowden, 
and you're not about walking, you can actually take a train. Or if you're less able, you can like hop on the train, and there's actually a car that takes you literally like meters from the summit. Highly recommend that if you don't want to go on a little walk. That said, the trail is pretty nice. Um, there's a lot of hard pack like this. When it gets a little bit more sketchy, you walk on a lot of boulders like this. Now that said, in the winter, as we kind of are now, um, it's still super snowy and super slippery up there. So I'd say like bring any sort of cleats or crampons or something like that so you just don't go and slide off the side of the mountain. But, you know, I just wore my, my fell running shoes and they were fine. Although, I did have to walk like an Assassin's Creed character. So maybe it's just like a combination of both. But, you can see here, we have little baby sheeps. Maybe those aren't the babies. But there are babies around here. It's sheeping season. Sheep! Let's see if I can call the sheep to come to me. Sheep! Baby sheep! Okay, sheep is not interested in coming to me. Thanks so much for watching my adventure up Mount Snowden today. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, comment, and come back for more. Because I'm always exploring planet Earth and seeing what Mother Nature has given us to see. Ciao.